Hi all. Um, uh, what you can see here is my uh, Raspberry Pi. This is an update on the work I've done so far. Um, you can see it's plugged into my great big TV, but also you'll notice I've got this nice little snazzy um, uh, keyboard, which a uh, keyboard and mouse, which is about twelve thirteen pound, uh, which connects via this little dinky little uh, wireless um, connector. So kind of solves that problem of having to use a, a wired keyboard and mouse cable and using both ports up. Um, which is quite useful. Also, you'll notice I've, I've got my network connected in there, uh, which goes to my router. I've got my HDMI cable, which if I point around the back here, hopefully you can see, uh, there you go, so it's connected in there. But also, I've got a USB output on here uh, for plugging um, USB drives in, but also it can power my Pi. So basically, I've just got it plugged into my TV, and um, well, there you go. Um, so anyway, let's uh, get on with this. Okay, first thing I do is um, let's log in. Uh, now, bear in mind, don't forget the project at the moment is to put AROS onto the Raspberry Pi. Um, now, at the moment, obviously, there isn't much AROS software, so um, the only thing to search on there is the uh, basic... Uh, um, AROS distribution. Right, so, okay, right. Here's uh, AROS, and hopefully at the bottom of the in a couple of seconds, you will see the um, taskbar. There you go, can we see that? I'm just checking, right. Okay, so as you can see, down here is the uh, AROS taskbar, it's the Tint2 bar. But basically what you've got is you've got AROS sitting there running, and it would run all AROS all AROS compiled for ARM software. So, for example, if I open up. Okay, now I just want to run a little um, tweak before I continue. I just want to run um, one of the commodities, which at the moment I'm having a few problems actually configuring this. So, uh, just gonna. Right, here we go. This is the opaque commodity. Now, it's kind of crucial that this is right. You can see the way this is moving around. Okay, right now, uh, Linux, the uh, sorry, the Raspberry Pi distributions do not have accelerated X drivers. Okay, so um, nothing you will see is accelerated. Once the accelerated drivers are done, this is going to be so much quicker. Um, so I'm just showing you this is to show the work in progress and how we're getting on and the integration and so on. Not for performance, please. If you're looking to see how fast it performs on Pi, don't look at this because it's not. It's not going to be um, uh, give you a good idea. Once those X drivers are done, I think this whole thing with transformers. I've said this before. Same with the um, uh, the Atom project. Um, right, let's just show these. So I'm getting used to this new new mouse. So uh, bear with me a second. Right, so I've got down here, I don't know what we got here. And let's grab uh, Amiga logo, what we got, let's oh, no, uh, Okay, so now you can see it actually loads pretty quick. The actual process in here is is, is, is pretty good performing um, process. I actually quite like it, I must admit. It's, I mean, look, you know, it's a, uh, it's a 700 megahertz processor, okay? You, you know, you, you, if you're thinking you're going to get dual core kind of processing, unfortunately you've come to the wrong place. However, I think this is going to be a brilliant little um, computer for mode for, for, for using. Um, I'm hoping it will just encourage people to try on the Raspberry Pi, the AROS system, to see the, the benefits. Now again, as I was, as I said earlier, so let me just scale this so you can see this. There you go, right. So you can see the processing, the scale, everything's working quite nicely. Um, and let's open up an editor. Okay, and we'll open file. I'll just open up so you can see how this works. Okay, here we go. So you can see everything's working on the AOS side. Um, but the, the real thing here is that uh, I'm trying to put this distribution together for an SD, card, an SD card for people to just plug into their Pi and instantly get into this. Now, what we need is a development tool so that I'm hoping people go, hey, that's kind of interesting. 
right? Maybe I can port my app across. I mean, the hardware costs me next to nothing. Uh, we can get this SD card, plug it in, um, and I can run a ROS and, and use the, the tools that are available on Linux. Now, here's an example. Uh, I can run, so if we see up here, Abbey Word, right? Now, this is actually a Linux application. If I double click on this, now this does take a little while to, to load um, because it's, especially the first time it loads. Um, so it might take uh, a few seconds, but it will be up shortly. Um, here we go. So there's uh, there's a word processor. Now it's obviously using the Linux. So you you basically got the entire ARM based Linux repositories that you can access your software, um, different programs that you might want to use. I'll give you another example. Let me shut that down. Let's close this down, close a couple of things down. So, now remember what I said, do not go by the performance of the display. Once the accelerated drivers are done, this will be a lot faster. So please bear with us on this. Um, we are kind of at the mercy of the, well, I don't want to say that because it's not really fair, but we're, we're at the mercy of waiting for the, the, um, the X drivers for the Raspberry Pi. So now I want to run graphics. So all I do is I stick a command LX in front, and all that basically means is it's going to run on the Linux side, but I'm launching it, there you go, I'm launching it from um, AROS, okay? And you can see down the bottom here, we've got now these icons down here appearing on, this is the Linux taskbar, this is the only visible bit of the Linux that you're going to see. Um, if I type in here, let's see, LX, oops, yeah, LX, LX, let's hope I've got this right. Uh, yep, there we go. Now I've got a Linux terminal that I'm running here. So I'm actually running a, an Amigo OS terminal and a Linux terminal at the same time. But I've also got access to many other applications. So if I click down here, I can now, if, if I right mouse click on the taskbar at the bottom, you can see the Linux, all the Linux software that's installed on this um, is, is appears. And you can see in here I've got the GIMP, um, I've got Network, I've got, uh, I've got web browser I've got chromium and Midori now chromium works from the the icon on the top left hand corner which if I get a chance I'll show you so we've got access to all kinds of software here programming tools there's some there's some really nice editors so of course we've got editors on the AVOS side but we can use the tools on both sides and, and, and drop files as if you're using on the AVOS because our AVOS file system is part of the Linux file system so it actually makes an awful lot of sense to work this way. Now there are some people out there that think, oh no, no, it's got to be native, got to be native. Well, the trouble is, you're going to miss out on an awful lot of things. Um, you're going to miss out, for example, on the accelerated uh, video side of things, which let me just show you a clip. I'll give you an example of what you will miss out on. Um, let's open up, I'll turn that do from here, hang on. Let's open up the um, Linux. Sorry, apologies. Let's open up the uh, Linux File Explorer. And then we'll close this down. Right, let's get rid of that. Uh, I don't want to say that. Right, now, um, at the moment I'm looking at the, the Eros. Oh, just, just so you're aware, this is um, a version of the um, Eros Broadway from Pascal. Um, I've modified it, done some tweaks to it, um, and added some extra bits and pieces of software that I wanted, etc. And it comes about two gigabytes size at the moment. This is what I'm using, so I've got quite a bit on here. But here's my files, my Eros file system, and this is the subject to change. Obviously, I may change the way this all works. But um, if I click on, for example, videos in here, right? I've got a trailer now. This is a technically a 15 pound computer if you don't have the network so if i double click on this what you'll see now if you give me a few seconds now this is a full 1080p video running from this little raspberry pi so the potential is enormous here and i, I honestly think when we got the x drive at the um x uh, desktop drivers for the graphics i must be accelerated up as well yeah, so it's quite good. This, that's actually quite good. I'll, I'm going to include that on the distribution now. So 
let's close that. Um, now, obviously, if I want to run the GIMP, for example, um, let's uh, let's just run that. Let that start loading. Now, obviously, the GIMP takes a uh, takes a little while to load, but I mean, yeah, this is going to be a good little application, uh, a good little system for people to use. Uh, now I've got it plugged into, as you, as you saw a minute ago, I've got it plugged into the left hand side of my TV, so I've just got a network cable going to it. Uh, my TV has a USB output which powers the device and an HDMI input, and I just use a Wi Fi keyboard and mouse, so um, it's actually a brilliant little box. Now, what we're trying to do is make it so that everything is integrated with AWOS, and this will come over time. As you can see, we've got the, the icons, uh, Chrome, you can see up here. Uh, if I don't, I won't do that now. If I double click on it, which I will do in a second so you can see the kind of performance. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> GIMP takes uh, ages to load. I, I wouldn't suggest necessarily using this as a GIMP workstation, but it's just to show that it can run it um, and uh, take its time in doing that. I, I might actually uh, crop this. Um, so if, if I did crop it um, in a second... <laughs> And the other thing, of course, I, I'm actually using a Class 10 um, SD card on this. Um, the, it's quite important. I did actually buy a 30 megabyte per second card, but for some reason it doesn't like it. So I'm hoping a firmware up dry, up, sorry, upgrade um, will allow me to use the um, much the extreme speed SD cards. Um, so here you go. I mean, here's the GIMP running. Um, and let's just open a recent picture if I've got one in. Oh, no, I haven't got one. Okay, let's go and find one. Um, so you can see, yeah, it can run it, um, and it, and actually, it runs, once it's loaded, I mean, it just takes a while to load, but once it's actually loaded, uh, let's go find some pictures, which I know I've got in users, okay, users active, now it's just looking in the, um, the, uh, AROS site, uh, yeah, let's load that, hang on, so this is, this is a 1280 by, I think it's 1024, but you can see it's it'll uh, it should load it pretty quick. Oh, there you go. Right, there you go. So you can see it works, and it, and it actually does make quite a nice little um, system. So the uh, the uh, Linux software will make up for some of the failings of the sort of not final failings, but where we haven't got software ported um, to. Uh, to AWOS at the moment, I'm hoping this will give people an inspiration to, to bring it over to ARM because it's not this is not just about Raspberry Pi. Let me just double click on Chrome if I there we go, it's loaded. Um, this is not just about Raspberry Pi, this is all the ARM platforms. There's gonna be an awful lot of ARM platforms coming, and I think getting AROS on them um, is gonna be a good thing. Now here you go, this is Chrome, it's actually Chromium, um, which is the open open source version of Chrome. So as you can see now, this is this is going live. So let's uh, load up a, I don't know why it's got to default into there yet still, but uh, Amiga world. Here we go. <coughs> and this is using just a modern, so we, we haven't got to worry too much about browsers for the time being. Um, we obviously do have our own good browser, but um, uh, we can just use the Linux ones for the time being. We'll concentrate on other areas. I think key things are going to be products that are, it will excite the, the uh, develop, developers and people um, who I think will look at this, maybe look at it and say, well, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's, like, it's like the Amiga of the old days. So um, anyway, uh, one more thing before I finish on this. Uh, I'm just, now I'm going to log the system out. Um, now I'm hoping it uh, be uh, at some point to have this so that you can um, don't have to log into Linux. Um, I know it's possible. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. But anyway, let me. I'm just going to exit out of the um, the desktop, and so you can see the potential for what this hardware is capable of. And I'm going to show you an app which I know a lot of people quite like. Oh, I can't even spell, can I? Hang on. There we go. Right. Yes. Uh, right. Just so once a bit with you in a second. Oh, yeah. My typing's not very quick. Okay. Now this will give you some idea of what the uh, hardware is capable of, um, and so it's not to be. Uh, make a fantastic uh, media player. There's no sound on this at the moment. 
Um, it's just uh, there's, there's no audio on. There is actually sound in the. I didn't show you the media player. Um, so the audio player running. Um, but uh, there's a there's a nice uh, music player that comes with it. Right, here we go. So we're going to do that. Uh, let's get in there. Now this is going to this is running at uh, six. I think it's actually sixteen hundred by twelve hundred. I think I've got this set up for. For some reason I can't. They they the others have been getting this at nineteen twenty by ten eighty, but I can't seem to get it configured for that. Um, it's probably just something I'm doing wrong. Um, but uh, so as you can see, this is going to load up Quake Three. Um, now they say the performance of this is around the speed of like the original Xbox or PlayStation 2, between PlayStation 2 and uh, uh, PlayStation 3. I, I don't play games, so um, as everyone knows, I'm pretty, I'm pretty rubbish. Uh, but, oh, <laughs> now what I'm just trying to show is that there's, the hardware in here is actually pretty good. Oh, I'm going to get killed really quick. Uh, oh God, he's going to shoot me, isn't he? Hang on. Uh, anyway, I think you see that. Um, man, let's chase after him for a bit. <laughs> the potential's good. Oh. Okay. So anyway, so there's uh, an update on the work I'm doing so far. Hope you like it. And um, it's too low.